If you have a webcam and you love to video chat with people, then chances are you want to go ahead and surprise some of your friends that you're chatting with with some cool effects that you can do with your webcam. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a free piece of software that will allow you to use webcam effects inside Mac and inside of Windows. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make free webcam effects. Okay, so to go ahead and do this, you're going to need a few things first. So first of all, you're going to need a webcam, of course, and you're also going to need a computer. You can use either a Mac or a PC because this works on Mac and PC. And you're also going to need a free piece of software called ManyCam, which is, as I said before, available for both Mac and PC. So once you have ManyCam downloaded, which I'll post the link to in the description, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open it up. So first of all, let's go to the desktop and show you the download link. So here's where you go, know, whoops. Here's where you go ahead and download ManyCam right here. You can download ManyCam, it's free, it's available for Windows, and it's available for Mac. What you do is you just go ahead, click here to go ahead and download it, and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and launch it up after you've installed it. So as you see down here in my dock, I have ManyCam launched up, so I want to go ahead and launch it up, and it should come up to this window right here, so you see me in the webcam right there. So. Anyway, as you notice over here, you have options here for objects, backgrounds, effects, face accessories, text over video, date and time, and drawing over face. I'm going to go over all of these effects right now. So uh, anyway, also here at the top we have a tab for effects and a tab for sources, which I'm going to go ahead and review in this video. So first let's go ahead and expand the objects window. As you notice here we have things for avatars where you can go ahead and add this in. So if I click on the bear mask, it'll bring up the bear mask. I'm going to try to align my face with that. Now, over here in the selected effects, here's the effects that you have labeled right here. And as you notice, they're layered. You can either click the clear all button to clear them if there's more than one effect, and you, or you can also just cancel them by going ahead and clicking the X up here. We also have an option for flags, which can bring up any of these flags, an option for fun, and an option for holidays to bring up all of these. If we go in here into backgrounds, you can go ahead and create a static background. You can go ahead and choose any of these. So I'm going to go ahead and choose sunset. As you notice, I'm moving around in the sunset now. And now, in order to go ahead and enable this, you're going to need to go ahead and take a snapshot of yourself, which you can go ahead and do. And in order to go ahead and exit these effects, just double click on the effect right down here. So, if we go down here into effects now, as you notice, we have effect for colors, which is the effects that I showed you in the beginning of this video one for alien, one for black and white, one for ghost, one for negative, and one for sepia. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that right now. We also have something here for lens, which you can make it bulge. You can make it mirror, which as you notice, there's two of me right here. Around this sword to look like that. Shrink to look like this. Square to sword, squeeze, and warp. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that. Then as you notice here, we have dynamic. Use fire. It comes up with a fire on the screen if I move my head around. As you notice, my head is dragging fire around. Now here's the flame effect, which comes up with a flame on the middle of the screen right here. Here is the snow effect. Do you notice it's snowing? But the snow actually is melting on my head. I think it looked like snow is going on my head and around stuff in the background right here. So if you see on my um, wallpaper in the background, if you notice the uh, snow is sticking to that. So it'll actually recognize objects in the background and stick to that. If we go here in the water, as you notice it looks like I'm moving around in water. I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And also, down here in every other part right down here, it says you can download more from the website. So if you're bored and you're tired of these effects, you can go ahead and download more from the website here. If we go here to lines, let's use black gradient, it looks like that. White gradient will look like this. Green gradient looks like this. Green gradient is actually one of my favorites. You can go ahead and keep on choosing any one of these, but I'm going to go ahead and clear the effect right now. So if we go here and do the tab for face accessories, It'll come with eyebrows, eyeglasses, face, hair, and hats. You can go ahead and choose any of these, but uh, right now I kind of don't want to. So anyway, now here over text over video, you can go ahead and type in any text right here. So, you notice I typed in Apple PC 98, it appeared up there. We also have options down here for the font and for the background. I'm going to go ahead and leave that effect right here. Date and time, you can go ahead and set the date and time, and for drawing over video, actually, you can pick any one of these colors, and you can actually draw on the video. As you see here, I sort of drew on the thing right there, so I'm going to go ahead and clear, and I can go ahead and keep doing that. You can click on fill, and it will fill the background, so I'll put them there. Pen, bring up pen, 
eraser can, I think, erase what's there. So if I go ahead to brush and uh, draw some stuff around, and I click eraser, it will erase what I drew. Here we go, click clear. And then those are the effects in this uh, effects tab. You have the option up here to show the ManyCam logo, which will show it says ManyCam right down there. But I'm going to go ahead and take that. You can also go ahead and add in a new effect from either a file or any of these other options right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the sources tab up here. So if I click on sources, it will change the sources. So you can actually go ahead and choose grayscale up there, but again, for black and white. And as you notice here, we have a different options up here. We have cameras, movies, still images, snapshots, desktop, and blank image. Right now I'm under cameras and I choose the built-in iSight camera from my Mac. But if you have any other cameras, they should show up there. And then you have the options to change the brightness and stuff right here. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and click on revert to default. Now here on movies is where you can actually replace the webcam image such as I have here with a movie. So if I go here and click on the eject button right here, it should go ahead and browse my, my files right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the uh, intro. And as you notice, instead of the webcam, it is playing my video's introduction. If I want to go ahead and cancel, you can go ahead and click on pause or stop. You can keep on playing. And also an effect that I want to show you up here is the mirror video source. So if we go ahead and take that, as you notice, it actually makes your video go backwards. In order to go ahead and remove the video, I'm going to go ahead and click on the X right down here, which will bring you to the blank image. But if I go ahead and turn the eyesight camera back on, it should show me. If we go here to still image, it'll actually just show a plain still image. Like if you left and you don't want to leave the webcam on, you go ahead and click on open new file and then choose an image and it'll replace an image instead of what's going on in the webcam. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that and then go back to the eyesight camera. Next we have snapshots, which you can go ahead and take snapshots, like you can take one snapshot of your screen, if we go ahead and click on that, uh, that's not a good snapshot of me. Now here if we go to desktop, here's the fun part, we have options here for full desktop, partial desktop, and custom desktop. This is where you can actually show your desktop instead of your uh, webcam, so if I click full desktop, as you see here, you see my desktop in full screen, go ahead and click on some icons, uh, I don't think you can see that in the preview window. If I go here to partial desktop, it will auto pan, so as you notice, it's panning around my desktop. So here's the uh, ManyCam window right here. Here's the option for desktops, and here's the size. If we scroll over here, as you notice, I have my desktop icons over here, and I also have the binder up down here, and down here is my dock, and the rest of my desktop icons. You can go ahead and change the size of this. As you notice, I clicked on this option right down here, which changed the size down to here. If I go ahead and drag the size all the way up here, as you notice, it's like that, but I kind of like keeping it around. Uh, somewhere in the middle, right around here. You can also go ahead and click on custom desktop, which will bring up this little custom desktop window right here. You can resize it, and as you notice, the uh, ManyCam options effects come in here, and so you only see what's inside this gray box right here. So if I go ahead and launch up a finder window, it's all in there. So let me just go ahead and resize the finder window for me so it'll go ahead and fit in there. So if I go ahead and drag the finder window in there, which still doesn't fit, it's now, as you see here, it only records what's inside of this portion of the screen. So, whoops, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that, and I'm gonna drag my finder back just for this time. So anyway, that is basically the desktop option, and then you have the option for blank image, which will basically just put in a solid color in case you're too lazy to put in a picture. And uh, let me just go back here to cameras. Okay, and so basically that is the uh, ManyCam software. You can go ahead and experiment with it any way you want to. You can go ahead and download more effects, and you can also go ahead and add more to it. And this is just a way, if you're video chatting with your friends, or you've got friends over and you want to mess around with your webcam, this is a perfect way to do it. So if you you can use this for video chatting with your friends, or you can use it for live shows, you can use it for pretty much anything that you would use a webcam for. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. This has been my review of the ManyCam video webcam software. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.